Two years ago, man, two years ago, we lost the incredible Juice Word, man. Um, I was actually was supposed to make a video about this yesterday, but I got caught up with a lot of different things, man, so I didn't even upload yesterday. Um, but, yeah, y'all, we, we, we lost, you feel me, Juice, bro. Now, I remember the first time I reacted to Juice, man. It was 2018, Lucid Dream, bro. 2018, that's when Juice Square was blowing up, and I reacted to Lucid Dream. I'm like, yo, I like this kid right here, man. And the crazy thing about it, Juice Square wasn't even in the industry for this long. You feel me? We didn't ever see his full out potential for real, bro. But the short amount of time he was here, you feel me, making music, making sure people understand where he was coming from, you feel me, making relatable music, he impact. This word heavily, man, heavily, bro. And it's just like to be that young, to be that special, full with talent and potential is just like, damn, we really lost that, bro. Because right now, you feel me? We wouldn't know where Juice would be at right now, bro. Honestly, man, this man could have been something really special, bro. Like really running this game for real, bro. And I feel like a lot of people could say that about X X Tentacion as well, bro. Um,. But yeah, I got two videos, you feel me, to watch. Just remembering Juice Word, man. One video is, is from Blackie. The other video is from another uh, YouTuber, man. You know, just, you know, get some feedback, just get some information. Just, just you know, remembering Juice, you know, just hearing what they got to say. Yeah, I know the album is dropping tonight, man, Fighting Demons. Um, we definitely go tune into that. We definitely go see what's going on with that. Um, but... Damn, bro. Damn. Juice WRLD became my, my favorite artist. Slowly, bro. From I forgot what was the next reaction I listened to from I think it was the album, if I'm not mistaken. It was probably, you know, a couple songs from the album, and then I heard Death Race for Love. Bro. <laughs> Juice could have it's gonna be something different, man. But let's dive into this right here, man. December 8th, 2019. Two years ago, bro. Two years ago. That's when we lost Juice, man. Y'all like the new hairstyle, too? If y'all rocking with the new hairstyle, y'all let me know, man. You feel me? Honestly, I wasn't I wasn't gonna keep the cornrows, but I actually, it actually looked pretty good, bro. So I'm like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? But let's dive into this right here. 999 in the comments, man. Fighting Demons is coming out tonight. We definitely we definitely doing a reaction to that, y'all. Y'all already know, man. I, like, it's just certain artists. Y'all should already know I'm doing a reaction to it. It's like, come on now. You feel me? It's certain artists that already, when they dropping, y'all should already know I'm on it. Come on. Don't ask me, DJ. Are you reacting to Yes, I am. Don't, don't ask me that because you already know the answer to it, bro. Like, come on now. My music are like my therapy sessions, but there's no confidentiality. Mm. I put it out there for people to receive, reevaluate, and learn, and grab my hand and walk with me through whatever they may be going through, you know. Now, December 8, 2019, two years later. For most people, this date is just another day, but for everyone who clicked on this video, it's not, and uh, you already know why. So, uh, Let's talk about it. Now, on this exact date, exactly two years ago, we of course lost the one and only Juice World, an artist who's teared a lot of people's hearts. Definitely a once in a lifetime type of artist, a guy who, yes, I think was an amazing artist, but an even better human. I remember finding out about Juice back in early 2018 and just instantly getting the feeling that this was a special artist. Looking back on it in hindsight, I couldn't tell you exactly what made me think that way back then. All I know is that months later after his blow up, he had my attention for sure. The most unique thing about Juice World, in my opinion, was his aura. He had a very peaceful presence, both as an artist and as a person. I never got the chance to meet Juice or speak to him, but everyone I know who's either met him or knew him all say the same thing. Juice was a great guy, a stand-up kind of guy for that matter. Juice definitely had his fair share of demons. The stories that he told in his music 
make that very clear. I always got the feeling that he made music not only for himself, but for other people who might be struggling with different kind of mental battles so they could find a safe space on this thing we call the planet. I've always went out of my way to commend Juice for being so open about the shit that he was going through in the music. At the end of the day, man, it takes a lot of balls to put your pain out in the open like he did. It really does. I think what Juice Wall gave a lot of people, especially young people, was a sense of belonging. Even though you might be feeling this way right now and you think you're gonna keep on feeling this way, don't worry because you're gonna figure it out. I like that he was such an open book, both in the music and outside of it. What I also liked about Juice was that he never pretended that he had it all figured out. Juice Wall was a work in progress and he always made that clear in the music. And bro, and nowadays, bro, when, when, cause we have social media now, you feel me? Everybody's on social media, everybody's putting out this and that. You know, everybody gonna seem like they gotta figure it out on social media. But no, that's not the case. You feel me? We would, everybody in this world would not be where they're at if they had it all figured out. You feel me? We go through a lot, you know? We go through a lot. Each and every single day, we gotta figure something out. You know what I mean? Something, you know? We're not perfect, you know what I'm saying? None of us is perfect. You know, we all got our own demons we fighting. We all got our own thing that we, you know, gotta face on, head on. But it's like, day in and day out, man, the only way you gonna face it, if you face it for real, bro, you can't hide that. You can't, you can't hide no pain, you can't hide nothing. You know, the only way you gonna get through it, the only way you gonna really stand up to anything you're facing, if you face it head on, bro. That's the only way, you can't be scared, bro. Can't. The thing about Juice World too is he made sure he shined his light. That's one thing he most definitely did while he was here. And another thing that I really appreciated about Juice was the fact that he put his entire story on display for the whole world to judge. That's where the vulnerability aspect of Juice World and Jared comes in. One thing I took away from Juice World's existence was the fact that you don't need to be perfect to be embraced. As a matter of fact, you being imperfect is the very thing that will make people cherish you. The reason why Juice World blew up and skyrocketed wasn't only because he made some good music. I mean, of of course, the music is the meat and potatoes, but the reason why Juice Wall got all that success was because he wasn't afraid to put himself out there fully. That's what really separated Juice from most artists in the industry. While everybody was worried about putting on an act for the cameras, Juice did the opposite. He stepped up to the podium, put his pain on display, told everyone how much he was struggling mentally just so he could let him know that it's okay to feel that way. Juice World also made sure he shared the depth of his emotions in order to serve as an inspiration for other people who might be going through the same thing. And that's really the greatness of Juice world. That's his legacy. That was the mark and the impact he left on his planet. I think the influence Juice had was very pure. And even though 90% of his music was extremely gloomy and dark, the intention he had with his art made his music sound not so dark when it eventually hit you right in the heart. As I'm sitting here thinking about Juice World or any artist we've lost for that matter being gone, even though it saddens me to just really think about it, these days my perspective is a little bit different. I'm just happy that he not only existed and helped millions of people with his music, but I'm happy that he got to live his dreams until the very end. It goes without saying, but Juice Wall has so much more life left in him. Regardless of that, in the little time he was dominating the music world, he somehow managed to accomplish what most artists accomplish in a decade in less than two years. And I think that goes for something. But yeah, December 8th, two years later. The day we lost Juice World, an amazing artist who made his mark on his world. He helped a lot of people with his music and Juice World was a gem, man. He was really a gem. Anyway, any memories you have with the late Juice World's music, share them down below if you felt like it. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh, long live Juice World, man. Long live Juice World. Nah, nah, nah in the comments, man. I know the vibes, bro. I feel like this video is really going to get me emotional. I ain't gonna lie, man. In memory of Juice War. Juice was kind of on some, like, I always knew. I always knew Juice was... My fault, y'all. Hold up. It was going to be him. You know what I mean? Because... I remember when Juice first released All Girls Are The Same, like when he first released the video and that shit had like no views and that shit started racking up. Like one of my friends has sent me the link to that shit and they was like, yo, you gotta listen to this shit. This shit's crazy right here. And I listened to it, I was like, damn, like, like he one of the only niggas that's really like talking about like how he really feel right now. Sometimes there's not even anything to say, like, he's just 
Juice World, like the name itself is holds a lot. Um, he's helped so many people with, you know, depression, anxiety, those emotions, these, those emotions that, and he wasn't afraid to be himself. Uh, he wasn't afraid to say the problems he had, and that kind of inspired like so many more people to talk about themselves and not like alter ego. So, yeah, he is definitely a legend in my book. Um, you know, he's from Chicago, um, rock with a 1000. You know what I'm saying? He was like an icon. Like, not just saying it because it happened to him, it's just he had a he had an advantage to to be like the next, like, out of coming out of Chicago, like the next Kanye type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he was smart. Personality crazy. You know what I'm saying? Music genius. Going that motherfucker freestyle. You know, you uh, go in the studio with somebody and he like going crazy. Then he, even your team be like, oh shit, you gotta go crazy. <laughs> they putting pressure on me and shit. I'm, hold on. I didn't forget who the fuck I was for a bit. <laughs> Recipe Juice World for sure. Nah, shout out good. to Juice RPD. Right. Yo, that boy could freestyle. Who do we know? Freestyling for 20 minutes. Niggas throwing them words. Nigga just ripping it. Like, who we know like that, bro? We lost a legend, One kid. One oh out an hour. Tim Westwood, right? An hour with Tim Westwood, huh? Great kid, bro. Legend. He gotta be legend. Like, he gotta be. He ain't even had to die to be a legend. He was a legend a before soul, that. Man. Good God. soul, bro. Oh, That's one of them kids that'll give you the, you know what I mean, the coat off his back. Juice World. Um, his teammate hit me. He hit me. Said they they wanted to put me on the project. So I sent over the interlude. They said they wanted to use that like just as is. Like send over your own record. Like we want to just we want you to have your own shit on the project. So at that time I was still like like relatively unknown. But I appreciate the opportunity that they gave me. I think his his impact is definitely prevalent. Like like no bullshit. I feel like to be on this earth for such a short amount of time and be able to impact that many people, that's special. Juice, I mean, tremendous, extraordinary, talented, honest artist. You know, and that's gonna live forever. You know, those songs, those that honesty, that music, how raw it was, uncensored, and. I mean, that, that inspires me to, to stay that raw, stay that uncensored. You know, I appreciate it, for real. My first time I meet him, he, he acting just like how I act right now. Like, humble, like, I didn't know he rap. You feel me? He was in there with Thug. You feel me? I'm in there, and he was in there, like, Thug love Juice World. Like, he really, really love Juice World. And only he stay talking about Juice World all the time. Like, he the best, like, freestyler. Like, he can freestyle real good. Thug introduced me to him, he like, this my son. Key, key, this juice. Instantly, we stepped outside, we chopped it up. So that was crazy when I woke up and I heard what happened to him. I was like, damn, that's a real unexpected death. That's a real unexpected death. That's one of them special rec. That's a special record, man. R.P. the Juice for it, man. He came in like beautiful vocals on that before he passed. And taking, take, taking juice had that record. Juice did his thing on that, bro. That's legendary creativity to it, you know what I'm saying? It's that. And we did we did on that thing. And it's called anti-social and it's something to be spoke about, you know what I'm saying? We just and we just let our feelings out and talk about that thing, you know what I mean? Did what we did on that thing, you know what I mean? It's, it's a great record. Juice, um, Jared, he uh he like changed my heart. Like if I could write like a movie, it would be like the best summer ever. Like if that would be my movie that would be it. It was the best summer ever. It was a little more than a summer. It was like a whole year. It was so nice. It was so much happiness. The only thing we were doing was like being kids and like we'd wake up and be like, yo, we're going to buy lightsabers. And he'd be like, all right, cool. We're going to Amazon them. Bam. Get like $300 lightsabers and fight with them. He'd be like, damn. Oh, yeah. I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's buy every Yu-Gi-Oh card we can go buy. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go. Going back. It was like a serious point of nostalgia. Like doing only things that you wanted to when you were a kid that like you can now. I feel him with me shit almost every day when I think about him. Shit every day when I think about him. Juice changed my heart, so love for me is different now. Like 
I said this once before, but like, there's no love like juice love, man. <laughs> that love is different. It's, it's like family love. Um, shit. He was a great ass friend, bro. He was as funny as fuck. He used to do funny ass shit, like. He used to be funny as fuck. I don't even want to just, I don't even want to speak. <laughs> Let's just say he was like one of us. He sure. was one of us for sure. For sure. He was definitely one of That's us. He was definitely in the friend group. <laughs> Feel me? That was just my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just vibe differently because we got it. Long live this world. Hell yeah, long live my brother. You can tell it hit different. You can tell it hit different for a scheme and trippy, man, for real. I, I mean, the other the other people, yeah, as well, but it's like trippy and scheme, you can tell it hit different, man. Me and Juice is on some different, like some otherworldly shit, bro. And it's like, honestly, Woo! like, we're gonna go so far in this music game, and I like I believe without even me touching anything, Juice is gonna go far in the music game, and it's just like it's so beautiful to watch, bro. Bro, love, bro, for real. That bro. Ass, it's just so beautiful to watch, bro. Like, hey, Ski. I feel like the planet is hurt. There's too many different opinions. Too many different people that's stuck in their own, whatever it is. Too many people that's racist, prejudiced, biased. Some is. <laughs> There's too much bullshit. So that's it. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. We just all gonna go out on like, we just all gonna, we just gonna go out in flames. I know what's gonna happen, but <laughs> yeah, this shit just gonna wrap up, I guess. <laughs> I just hoping, I just hope it happened after my kids had kids type shit. I hope we got that much time left. Damn. Damn, y'all. That, that was something special right there, bro. That was something special, man. I ain't gonna lie. That was definitely something special right there. Oh, man. Fighting Demons is coming out tonight. I know the vibes already. Um, nah, nah, nah in the comments, man. Any memory I got of Juice Square, anything I got to say, man, go ahead and say it. Let your thoughts out. You feel me? Whatever the case may be in the comments, y'all. Fighting Demons coming out tonight, man. See y'all then. Peace.